This data set contains customer sales data. You want to group the customers in clusters to begin to develop an effective marketing strategy. Begin by opening the Predict Workspace. In the designer view of the Predict Workspace, you link your data source with the nodes available in the component sidebar. The data source automatically appears as the first node. If necessary, you can prepare the data for analysis by using data preparation components. Here you can find nodes that enable you to change the data type of columns, filter results, create selection formulas, normalize data, or sample a subset of data to limit the number of records for analysis. For this example, prepare the data by randomly selecting half of the records for analysis. To configure the settings for the component, you can click the Settings icon to access the context menu or double-click the component. Set the sample node to use simple random sampling and to select 50% of the available rows. Note that a check mark now appears on the icon for the sample component. This indicates that the component has been configured and is ready to run. Next, connect a clustering algorithm node to the sample node. Enter the desired settings for the RKMeans node. Each algorithm has a different set of configuration properties. RKMeans has a single output mode, cluster. The RKMeans algorithm requires you to specify the number of clusters you want to generate. For this example, create four clusters. In the column selection area, we can select the columns we want the algorithm to consider for clustering. In this example, we will use all of the available columns. In the cluster name text box, you can specify the name for the new column that will contain the cluster number for each record. For this example, accept the default name. Next, view the advanced properties for the component. Here you can find additional settings that are specific to the algorithm. For example, RKMeans can use different methods to generate clusters, so there is an algorithm type list where you can select the specific algorithm you want to use. For this example, accept the default settings. On the General tab, you can enter an alias name to display for the component in your analysis, and a description to document how you are using the component in your analysis. For this example, accept the default settings. The results view displays the dataset in a data grid by default. Here you can view all the columns from the dataset along with a new column that was added to hold the cluster information generated by the analysis. Note that at the top of the component sidebar, you can select the element for which you want to view the results. The results for the RKMeans component are currently displayed, but you can view analysis results for the original dataset or the sample component if desired. View a data summary of the results. Here you can see a statistical summary of the results generated by the RKMeans algorithm. At the bottom of the component sidebar are a series of charts that are generated by the RKMeans algorithm used in the analysis. Different components generate different visualizations. View the charts generated by the algorithm. This chart displays the size of each of the clusters generated by the algorithm. This chart displays the density of each cluster and the distance between clusters. Clusters with high density have members which are more alike with respect to the columns considered by the algorithm. This chart displays the distribution of each cluster against the distribution for all clusters. This chart shows the center point for each input attribute for each cluster. This chart enables you to analyze the relationships between the variables that were included in the cluster analysis. The scatter matrix chart displays the relationships between different combinations of columns used in the analysis. Next, add a CSV writer component to the analysis. Choose a name and location for the CSV file. Run the analysis and then open the CSV file from Windows Explorer. The CSV file contains the cluster number column created by the analysis. You have successfully created and run an analysis in SAP Predictive Analysis. 
This is the end of the tutorial.